A man found with 3D printed gun parts in a Kingston home. Now, that man accused of 3D printing that weapon is facing a judge today. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live with more. Louisa? Christina, Charles Santos walked into court here a free man and ended up in handcuffs in custody. That is until another hearing. Take a look. This is his mugshot. Uh, police say an investigation led them to the 34 year old from Kingston, and based on his history, he's prohibited from having guns. But police say they found him with a fully operational AR style rifle, a 3D printer, 3D printed firearm parts, and some illegal steroids. Police believe he was in possession of another gun, but they still haven't found it. This comes as the Massachusetts legislature is considering a bill to crack down on so called ghost guns. That's because they have no serial number and are untraceable. And police chiefs say anecdotally they're seeing more of these used in crimes, although data about them is hard to come by. Now, Santos's court appointed defense attorney. He said that he's been clean and sober for 10 years, that he is taking care of his children in Kingston. And to be clear, he is not charged with having a 3D printer or 3D printed gun parts. He's just charged with illegally having that firearm because he doesn't have a license. And that is what Massachusetts legislators are trying to address. Uh, to give you an idea of how common these ghost guns are, Boston police say last year they had roughly 700 guns that they found uh, used in crimes, and about 100 of them were ghost guns. Live in Plymouth, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.